What is up, guys? I don't know. Back here, and hold on, hold on. Sorry. Um, today I'm showing you some redstone creations. That one I can't take credit for. That one was Ethos. I'll show you, or I'll link a description to his channel in the description. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So this one I made up by myself, and it's just a a redstone door. And yeah, this is the really bulky version. This was the first one, so it, when you hit the lever, it turns off this torch, which turns off all these things. And then the delay helps make the effect of it, like, closing. And, yeah. So it goes around there. Just redstone and repeaters, and then this comes up here to activate these two pistons. And then comes around here. Activates these two pistons, comes down here, activates these two pistons, and then down here, it activates the last two pistons. And yeah, so that's the really bulky one. Works pretty good. Like the door itself, and this is the compact version. So when you hit the lever, torch is on, uh, this activates this redstone. Redstone comes around, adds some delay before the pistons, and then this one adds a delay before this piston, and then underneath, it's basically the same setup as the other one, except the delay is right here, and it comes around, and that's pretty much it. So, and then the last one, which was the one that was made by Etho, it's a piston, like, staircase thing, and... I'm going to show, show you what happens on it once we get up to the top. So, okay, when you when you step on the pressure plates, it activates the redstone, which just activates the sticky piston, and the slime block goes up. The reason I use furnaces is because they're one of the blocks that uh, slime, box, slime blocks don't stick to, and so they won't move. And you can also pre place pressure plates on top of it. Well... Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.